MI5 is institutionally, publicly racist. It discriminates against 92.6% of my constituents in North East Somerset. If you're poor, if you've been failed by the education system, if, as with James Bond, you're an orphan, don't apply to MI5. It won't have you as an intern if you're white. This is one of several cases of institutional racism in our institutions that State of the Nation has found. You would hope that our intelligence agencies would be intelligent. The old joke that military intelligence is an oxymoron turns out to be true, and they're just woke. MI5 offers racist summer internships. The website states an internship at MI5 is like no other. That's quite true. It's a racist internship. It's a challenge that calls for individuals from a range of backgrounds with different skills and knowledge. A range of backgrounds, unless, of course, you're part of the 96.2% of North East Somerset that is white. This is an internship that is exclusively for people who are not white, and it explicitly says so. To be eligible to apply for the Summer Intelligence Internship, you must answer yes to the below questions. I'm from one of the following black, Asian or minority ethnic backgrounds, Bangladeshi, Indian, Pakistani, Chinese or other Asian background, African, Caribbean or any other black background, white and Asian, white and black African, white and black Caribbean or any other mixed ethnic background, other minority ethnic group. So in other words, MI5 now hires its interns on the basis of race and ethnicity. And it does so with your taxpayer money. It uses your money to discriminate against most of the population. And the great irony of this is that it purports to serve the disadvantaged. But in ruling out the white population, it is completely neglecting white socioeconomically disadvantaged people. The group that the chairman of the Commission on Race and Ethnic Disparities, Tony Sewell, identified as a particularly underprivileged group. It may not surprise you to know that MI5 is not the only culprit. The Civil Services Summer Internship includes being non-white as part of its eligibility criteria. The Bank of England's Black Future Leaders Sponsorship Programme is, quote, looking for students from a black slash black heritage, including mixed. The London Mayor's Office has in the past had internships for ethnic minorities too. And Transport for London offers a communications internship for which, quote, you must be of black, Asian and minority ethnic background to find as having some African, Afro-Caribbean, Asian or other non-white heritage. So it appears Britain's public sector has been overrun with institutional racism, undoing all of the progress we have made with Britain's race relations over the past half century and you pay for it. And why does this matter? Well, it matters because it's unfair to the least well-off, not just in my constituency, but in constituencies across the country. And if we want to have good race relations, which we do, and we want to accept that fundamental equality, that principle of equality of all British citizens, then all discrimination is wrong. It's wrong when it's against minorities, but it's also wrong when it's against the majority population.